Man's Search for Meaning, by Viktor Frankl, is a profound and deeply moving exploration of human suffering, resilience, and the search for purpose in life. Written by Frankl, an Austrian psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor, the book is divided into two parts, the first chronicles his harrowing experiences in Nazi concentration camps, and the second introduces his theory of logotherapy a form of existential analysis that emphasizes finding meaning in life as the central motivating force. Detailed Summary Part 1 – Experiences in a Concentration Camp The first half of the book recounts Frankl's personal experiences during World War II when he was imprisoned in Auschwitz and other concentration camps. Frankl vividly describes the extreme suffering endured by the prisoners, including starvation, exhaustion, and the constant threat of death. However, his narrative focuses not so much on the horrors themselves, but on the psychological and existential responses to such suffering. Dehumanization and the struggle for survival. Frankl writes about the ways in which the camp stripped individuals of their identity, treating them as mere numbers. The harsh conditions led many prisoners to lose hope and give up on life. Yet, despite this, some inmates managed to retain a sense of dignity and purpose. Frankel observed that the difference between those who survived and those who perished often came down to their ability to find meaning in their suffering. He offers poignant examples, such as when prisoners would share their last piece of bread or comfort a dying comrade. These small acts of kindness became a form of resistance against the dehumanization they experienced. Frankl argues that even in the most unimaginable suffering, individuals can find meaning by choosing how they respond to their circumstances. The importance of meaning. Frankl's central thesis emerges from these observations, the ability to find meaning in life, even in the face of extreme suffering, is crucial to survival. He quotes Nietzsche, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. For Frankl, meaning can be derived from three sources. Work, doing something significant. Love, caring for another person. Courage in the face of suffering, how we endure and make sense of pain. Even in the concentration camp, Frankl was able to find meaning by focusing on his love for his wife, his hope of seeing her again, and the idea that he might one day share his experiences with the world to help others. Part 2, Logotherapy in a Nutshell. The second half of the book is dedicated to explaining logotherapy, Frankl's therapeutic approach that arose from his camp experiences. Logotherapy, which translates to therapy through meaning, is founded on the belief that the primary drive in life is not pleasure, as Freud suggested, or power, as Adler proposed, but the pursuit of meaning. This approach emphasizes the future, guiding people to find purpose in their lives, no matter their circumstances. The will to meaning. At the core of logotherapy is the concept of the will to meaning. Frankl believes that humans are inherently driven to find meaning in their lives, and when this drive is frustrated, whether due to personal circumstances, societal pressures, or existential crises, individuals may experience what he calls the existential vacuum. This vacuum can manifest as boredom, depression, and even suicidal thoughts. Frankl notes that in modern society, where traditional sources of meaning, such as religion and community, are in decline, people often struggle to fill this existential void. Freedom of choice and responsibility. A key tenet of logotherapy is that even in the direst of circumstances, individuals have the freedom to choose their attitude and response. Frankl emphasizes the importance of personal responsibility. While we cannot always control our external environment, we can control how we interpret and react to it. This freedom is a fundamental part of what it means to be human, according to Frankl. He uses the concept of the tragic triad, pain, guilt, and death, as the ultimate sources of suffering in life. Yet, even in the face of these unavoidable realities, Frankl insists that meaning can be found. Suffering, he argues, is not meaningless if we can assign purpose to it. For example, enduring hardship with dignity, learning from past mistakes, or facing death peacefully can all be sources of meaning. The Three Pathways to Meaning According to Frankl, there are three primary ways people can discover meaning in life. 
Creating a work or doing a deed, this involves engaging in activities or tasks that give life purpose, such as completing meaningful work, pursuing creative endeavors, or contributing to society. Experiencing something or encountering someone, meaning can also be found in experiencing the world, whether through art, nature, or relationships. Frankel places a special emphasis on love, which allows individuals to see the unique potential in others and feel connected to something greater than themselves. The attitude we take toward unavoidable suffering, Frankel believes that while suffering is an inevitable part of life, how we choose to face it can give it meaning. He argues that when we cannot change our circumstances, we are challenged to change ourselves. This is especially poignant in situations of extreme suffering, such as illness or the loss of a loved one. Key concepts in logotherapy. Existential frustration, this occurs when individuals feel a lack of meaning in their lives. Unlike neurosis, which is rooted in psychological issues, existential frustration arises from an individual's search for purpose. Neugenic neurosis, Frankel uses this term to describe mental disturbances caused by existential issues, rather than psychological ones. These issues arise when a person feels their life lacks meaning, leading to feelings of emptiness and despair. Paradoxical intention, one of the techniques used in logotherapy, paradoxical intention involves encouraging patients to confront their fears or anxieties by intentionally focusing on them, thereby reducing the intensity of the symptoms. Their reflection, this technique helps individuals shift their focus away from themselves and their problems to something or someone else, enabling them to discover new meaning in life through action or connection with others. Impact and Legacy Man's search for meaning has resonated with millions of readers worldwide due to its powerful message about the human capacity to find meaning even in the darkest of circumstances. The book's universality comes from its emphasis on the individual's freedom to choose how to respond to life's challenges, regardless of the external situation. It is not just a reflection on surviving the Holocaust, but a guide to finding purpose and meaning in all aspects of life. Conclusion Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning is more than just a memoir of survival, it is a testament to the power of the human spirit. By sharing his own experiences and developing the theory of logotherapy, Frankl offers readers a path toward understanding that meaning can be found in every moment of life, no matter how bleak. His message, that we have the power to choose our response to suffering, continues to inspire people to seek purpose and live with intention.